We are ready to get our reading voices warmed up with our shared reading poem, Fall. You can join in with our hand motions if you remember them. Ready? Go. Leaves are falling. Leaves are falling to the ground without a sound. Days are getting shorter. Nights are growing longer. Fall is here. What? Fall is here. Great job, readers. So today as we get our reading voices warmed up, I was doing some thinking and we have two words in here and they are rhyming words. Give me a thumbs up if you heard the words say ground sound. Try it with me. Ground sound. And then I was doing some thinking and I was like, wow, ground and sound both have the same spelling pattern. They both have O-U-N-D. O-U-N-D. So then it's the same ending. I was thinking, what are all the other words that we could spell because we already know ground sound? Turn and tell your partner all the other words you could think of to spell because you know how to spell ground and sound. Turn and tell them what other words do you know and how would you spell them? Come sit up. Ground, sound, bound, mound. Oh, I'm hearing so many other words we know. Let's turn back. Three, two, and one. Readers, I was hearing Luciano. Some of you give me a thumbs up if you said the word mound. Mound. If it's a mound, it's like a hill. Could you help me spell mound? Ready? Go. M. readers we were able to spell mound because we already knew our word part from ground and sound did anyone have another word I think I heard the word the word ound ound help me spell it ready go M-O-U-N-D. found very good so readers today from our poem we were able to spell other words because we knew the word part in ground Sound, we could spell mound, we could spell found. Okay, so readers, we're getting ready to read our shared reading book today, Iris and Walter. Today, we know that Iris has gone through a lot of changes. She's had a lot of changes with her feelings, where she's been feeling one way, and then her feelings changed in chapter two, and then even in chapter three, I bet her feelings are going to start to change again. Because at the end of chapter three, we remembered that she found a new friend. She found Walter. I like, I'm thinking and I'm wondering, maybe he's going to be her friend. Readers, when you retell with your partner to get our, our voices ready and get us back into our chapter three, I want you to be thinking, how has Iris's feelings changed from the beginning of the book and as it's been going through our book up to chapter three, how has her feelings changed? Turn and tell your partner as you retell, think about how has her feelings changed? Tell them from the beginning she was feeling. How was she feeling in the beginning? All right, let's turn back five, wrap it up four, three, I like the way Sycia is sitting, two, and one. So readers, as you're retelling, I was hearing you say that our friend Iris here in the story, she loved her apartment. She was super happy there. But then Mariah, when she had to move to the country, she started feeling a little bit sad and upset. She's like, I have no friends here. We're in the middle of nowhere. But then I heard some people predict Aliana in the back. She was like, she found a new friend and I bet she starts feeling happy again. Mm-hmm. So now that we're ready to go, readers, day 
Today, as we read, the work that we're going to be doing is we are going to be finding compound words. Say that with me. Compound words. words. So readers, a compound word is when we take two words and it makes a new word. We have, say, hallway, hallway, it makes hallway, it makes a new word. Like in the word, say, cupcake, cupcake, and it makes a new word, cupcake. So readers, today as we read our chapters, I want you to give me a thumbs up when you hear a compound word. Try that with me. Give me a thumbs up when you hear it. Just practice your thumbs up. Practice. Let me see your thumb up. Just do it right here. You could even do it right here. Mariah, where's your thumb? Hands down. Get ready with our strong reading voices. Let me zoom it in so we can see. Be on the lookout. Give me a thumb up when you find your compound word. Ready? Go. A walk and a top. Reading with me. Iris and Grandpa went for a walk. Can I tell you something? Iris asked. You may tell me anything, said Grandpa. I hate the country, said Iris. Why, asked Grandpa. Because there are no children here. The country is lonely as Mars. Readers, I saw some thumbs go up in the air. Can you turn and tell your partner if you see a compound word, which word is it and what two words do you see? What two words do you see that make a new word for a compound word? Let's look at the second line. Do you see the word something? Something makes which word? All right, readers, let's turn back. Five, four, three, two, and one. So, readers, I heard us say the word, say something. something. We have the word something, and what does it make? Something. something. Say it with me. Ready? Go. Something. something. What about the other word that you found? Any. Anything. Our two words say anything, and it makes what? Anything. anything. Okay, on our next part, I want to hear your voice. You are doing the reading. Ready? Go. Iris, Iris my girl, there must, must be some, some children somewhere, said Grandpa. Grandpa. Do you think so? asked Iris. I know so. We shall have to find them, Iris. We shall be explorers. Hey, readers, we're going to read that one more time because I want you doing the reading. Autumn. Ready? Go. Iris, my girl, there must be some children somewhere. Keep reading, Grandpa. Do you think so? asked Iris. I know so. We shall have to find them, Iris. We shall be explorers. Much better. I heard saw some thumbs up. Turn and tell your partner, what word do you see? What two words, tell your partner, which two words, something's not in there. Look, check it again. Which words do you see? Somewhere. When we do reading, I need you opening our mouth to do the reading. Okay? I want to hear you do your reading. All right. Let's turn back. Five, four, on your bottoms. Three, two, and one. Give me a thumbs up if you said the word somewhere. Somewhere. That's a compound word. Two words to make a new word. All right, hands down. Get your reading voices ready. Ready? Go. Iris and Grandpa walked down the road. The birds were singing. The roses were blooming. And around the bend, someone was waiting. Turn and tell your partner. Which word did you find? What two words make one word? 
Let's check it. So you think waiting? All right, we're going to check that. All right, let's turn back. Five, four. Luciana, let's turn back. Three. Let me see which row is ready to go. Two and one. So I heard a couple different things on this page, readers. I heard some of us were saying, well, I think like waiting. And then I heard like blooming. So readers, I want us to look at the difference between an ending and the compound word. That right here, ing, ing, that's our ending to our word, okay? So that ing is not a complete word on its own. So it's, that's why it doesn't make a compound word. Thumbs up if we said some one, because we see the word some and we see the word one. So readers, there's a difference between our endings versus our compound words. Hands down, and we're going to get ready to read in nice, strong reading voices the rest of our chapter. Okay. Ready? Go. Sorry. Re let's try again. Ready? Go. Iris and Grandpa walked around the bend. They saw a great big green tree. What a tree, said Grandpa. So green. There we go. Down came the ladder. Strong reading voices. Ready? Go. Down came the ladder. There we go. There's a lot of dialogue here. Let's think about when we need to pause. We read it, pause, and then do our tagline. Ready? Go. Amazing. I wonder what's up there, said Grandpa. I'll go see, said Iris. Iris began to climb. How is it up there? Called Grandpa. Let's try that right here again. Ready? Go. How is it up there? Called Grandpa. It's very green, yelled Iris. Iris climbed higher and higher until she almost of the great big tree. Okay, let's, let's fix that part up there. Miss Charlay even got a little bit off. Readers, when you notice there's no period at the end here, we need to make sure we keep scooping it up all the way to the end. That's a long sentence right here at the end. Ready? Let's try from here. Go. Iris climbed higher and higher until she was almost at the top of the great big green tree. What does she say? Grandpa called Iris. There's a house up here. It is a tree house. And there's our friend in the tree house. Walter. Mm-hmm. I see it. Ready? Go. Iris and Grandpa were talking. Iris knocked on the door. Come in, said a voice. Iris opened the door. Hi, I'm Walter, said Walter. Hi, I'm Iris, said Iris. Iris knocked on the door. Hey, Grandpa, there's a kid up here named Walter, yelled Iris. How wonderful, said Grandpa, and I was... Oh, let's fix up that right there. Let's, yeah, it says, and it was. Let's read those last two lines. Ready? Go. How wonderful, said Grandpa, and it was. Readers, today I really liked at how the end... We started using those strong reading voices, scooping up and reading all the words. But readers, today, today the work that we did is we were looking at compound words. Like the words hallway, cupcake, we looked at something, someone, anything. Today readers, what we're going to do is Miss Charlay is going to give you and your partner some words. Some words are going to be compound words. There are going to be two words together that make a brand new word. But just like when we looked at some of those words that had ing on the ending, I'm going to be giving you some words that just have endings. So readers, what you're going to do with your partner, John, 
is you're going to be sorting which words are compound words, which words, Mariah, have endings, like S, E, D, E, R, I, N, G. Those are just endings. So turn to your partner three, turn to your partner two, turn to your partner one. Here we go. I want you to think about which word is a compound word, which word is an ending? Read your word. Think about which group would it go to. Read the words together. Read your words together. What could that word be? Look for your words that have endings. What did you think it was, Anthony? What about that word? Oh, let's see if we could find one word. Do we know this part of the word? Cup, and then we see cake, cupcake. Oh, and Mariah says she sees the S, so she knows that it's an ending. Can we come put these? Look, I'm going to come put them where they go. So cupcake, we have our compound word. And we said S for roses. All right, let's turn back, three. Let's just face this way, two and one. So, readers, Miss Charlay is gonna come and I'm gonna hold up your words. We're gonna read them together and put them where they go. So we have our first ones up here. We've already talked about cupcake being a compound word, cupcake, and then we had our word, everyone say, roses. Roses. Roses, we have the S, so it's an ending. Let's read our word here. What about this one? Opened. 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 Let's say ending or compound? Opened. Opened. Ending. E-D. Say opened. 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 That is an ending. Let's try another one. What about this one? We have wheelchair. Is that two words or does it have an ending? Two words. Two words. Two words. Two what word? Say wheelchair makes what? Wheelchair. wheelchair. So we're going to put it on our compound word. All right, let's try next one. What do we see? Jumping. Jumping. Is it an ending or compound word? Ending. ending. What's the ending? I-N-G. So we're going to put it in our ending section. Okay, let's come over here. You have one? All right. What about this word? We have? Dishes. Dishwasher. Hmm. Dishwasher. Do we see two words or just an ending? Two words. We do. It has an ER on it, but we see the word dish washer. So we know it's two words, and that makes a compound word. What about our next one? Singing. Singing. Is it a compound word or does it have an ending? Ending. I-N-G. Okay. Readers, as we go back to our seats, if you still have one, you can put it in the, into our um, chart over here. If I have already taken yours, like one, two, I want you to stand up, walk to your seat. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.